Half double crochet is my favorite crochet stitch ever, and today I'm gonna teach you how to do it even if you've never crocheted anything in your life. My goal is to make this one of the easiest half double crochet tutorials ever. In this video, you'll learn how to tie a slip knot, how to hold your hook, how to hold your yarn, how to create a chain, how to half double crochet, how to end your project, and how to weave in your ends. And if you're new here, I'm Holiana. Welcome to the Sunflower family. Let's get crocheting. If you already know the basics of crocheting and you're just here to learn how to half double crochet, you can skip forward to the section of the video called how to half double crochet. If you're brand new to crocheting, I'm gonna teach you how to do a slip knot, how to hold your yarn, and how to hold your hook. How to tie a slip knot. Tail of the yarn goes in your right hand. With your left hand, put the yarn over two fingers and create a loop. Put your fingers and your thumb through the loop and reach back around here, grab the yarn close to the skein, and pull it through. One more time. Hold the yarn in your right hand. With your left hand, you're gonna have the yarn laying over top of two fingers. Twist upwards and then rotate your hand like this. Put your two fingers and your thumb through the loop. Reach back behind here, back behind here to grab this piece of yarn closest to the skein and then pull it through. You can take this tail and pull it down as you pull the loop through. A slip knot is going to allow this first loop to get smaller or bigger. And this is what our hook is going to go through as we start our crochet project. Next, let's talk about how to hold our hook. There's so many different ways that you can hold your hook, and at the end of the day, I just think you should hold your hook however makes you the happiest, whatever is easiest for you, whatever makes your hands feel best. I'm gonna show you the two different ways that I hold my hook. The less common way that I hold my hook is like a pencil. I started doing this recently. I like it, it's not my favorite, but it is good to switch up the hand holding position sometimes if your hands start to hurt. The most common way that I hold my hook is like a steak knife, like you're just like cutting a steak dinner. So I lay the hook in my hand, wrap these three fingers around it, put my thumb down, and then my pointer finger can either go here or here. Usually it goes up here, because I'm kind of directing where my project goes, just like you might do it on a steak knife to help you cut your steak. So once again, the two ways that I hold my hook are either like a pencil or like a steak knife. So our hook goes through our slip knot and we pull it tight around the hook. Not all the way tight. You're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit of leeway right there, but about that tight. Now let's talk about how we're holding our yarn with our left hand. Once again, there is no wrong way to do this. However you wanna hold your yarn is fine by me. I'm gonna show you how my Ganny taught me to hold my yarn when she taught me to crochet 20 years ago. The yarn goes around the pinky, under your middle two fingers, over your pointer, and then you pinch the project like this. Let's do that again. Around the pinky, under your middle two, over your pointer, and pinch. One more time up close. Go around your pinky, under your middle two fingers, over your pointer, and pinch. Your pointer finger is going to be the best tool you have in keeping your tension the same as you crochet. I love this hand holding method. It really lets the yarn slowly be pulled evenly through your fingers while you're crocheting. It's almost time to learn how to half double crochet, but before we do, I wanna talk about what hook and what yarn you should be using when you start out. If you're brand new to crocheting, I made a video that is a crocheting shopping list for beginners. I will link it in this video. For today's project, I'm using a medium yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook. I personally prefer crochet hooks with an ergonomic hook and a metal tip, but you can use whatever hooks make your hands the happiest. If you don't know what size hook to use for your yarn, all you have to do is look at the back of your yarn label. At the back of the yarn label, it will tell you the weight of your yarn, and over here, where you see the little crochet hook, it will tell you what size crochet hook to use for your yarn. Now let's learn to half double crochet. Not all, but most of your crochet projects are going to start with a chain. To create a chain, we're going to yarn over, which is where you just put the yarn around the hook like this, and pull it through that first loop you've created. Once again, we're going to yarn over and pull it through the loop you've created. Yarn over, pull it through the loop you've created. Let's look at this really, really closely. You can see that I have my hook pointed towards me. It's not up, it's not over here, it's not over there. It is pointed towards me. So I yarn over, and when I pull the hook back through this loop, you can see that the needle is pointing downwards and it makes it very smoothly go through that loop. If I was doing it like this, it would get caught at the top. If I was doing it like this, it would just fall off of the needle. If I was doing it like this, 
it'll get caught. So whenever you're creating your chain, yarn over, make sure the hook is pointing towards you. Pull it through smoothly. That's how you create your chain. When you're starting your project with a chain, you're going to chain as long as you want your project to be wide. So let's say you're gonna make a blanket. You might chain like 200 stitches. Let's say you were making a coaster. You might chain like 15 stitches. Don't take that as a quote for how many stitches you should use if you're making a blanket or if you're making coasters. The amount you need to chain for each project is going to drastically change depending on the weight of your yarn and what type of stitch you're doing. For this video where I'm just teaching you how to half double crochet, it doesn't matter how long our chain is, we are just going to be making what's called a swatch, which is just a little piece of crochet to show you an example of how to half double crochet. I personally think the second row of your half double crochet project is going to be the most difficult, so don't worry, it does get easier from here. When you're holding your project, make sure you hold it flat like this where the Vs are facing upwards. You don't want to be holding it on its side or on its back. You can see how this looks very different. You want to hold it on its front where the Vs are facing you. For the second row of our half double crochet, we are going to start by skipping two stitches. So we're going to skip this stitch, our first stitch, we're going to skip this stitch, our second stitch. We're going to be crocheting into our third stitch. So once again, see how these make little Vs? We are going to be crocheting into the top half of each little V. So to half double crochet, once again, make sure that you're skipping the first two loops, yarn over, go through the third loop, yarn over again, and pull it through. Now on your crochet hook, you are going to have one, two, three, yarn over and pull it through all three. Let's do that again. We're going to yarn over, push the tip of your crochet hook through that top loop of the very next loop, yarn over again and pull it through. On your crochet hook, we have one, two, three, yarn over and pull it through all three. Let's look super, super, super duper close this time. Yarn over, go through the top half of the V, yarn over and pull it through. On our hook, we have one, two, three loops, yarn over and pull it through. That's the basics of how you half double crochet. I'm going to continue this to the end of the row. Now we're to the very last stitch of our half double crochet. Yarn over, go through the top part of the V once again. Yarn over, pull it through. On our hook, we have one, two, three pieces of yarn. Yarn over and pull it through. And once again, when we yarn over, think about the same way that we did our chaining, where you really want that hook to be facing you, facing downwards whenever it goes through the loops. Yarn over and pull it through. That completes our second row of half double crochet. I think that this is the most beautiful, simple stitch there is in crocheting. As promised, it does get easier from here. At the end of the row, you're going to chain two. Now remember when we chain, we yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, and we flip our project. We are always going to be crocheting from right to left. So at the end of every row, we flip the project. The only thing different going forward is that we're not going to be looking at the project from the top like we did before where we were looking at each stitch that is shaped like a V. Now we're going to be looking at the project from the side and we're going to be looking for these little holes right here. We're actually going to be crocheting under the V. So instead of just going through the back loop, we're going to be going underneath both loops. The stitch for the half double crochet though stays the same. Yarn over, go through the hole, yarn over, Pull it through. We have one, two, three on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. Once again, yarn over, go through this hole. I'll show it from this angle this time. You can see that your hook is underneath both of those top loops. Yarn over, pull it through. We have one, two, three. Yarn over, and pull it through. Really close. Let's look at it. Yarn over, right here. 
yarn over, pull it through, complete the stitch. Let's see how close we can get. Okay. Yarn over, right here. One, two, three. Sometimes like right here it might be tricky. You might not really be able to see where you're supposed to go through because it kind of seems like you should go through right there but that's that's not right because you would only be going through the back loop. Make sure you're going under both of those loops. Yarn over, under both loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, through all three. At the end of your row, don't forget to chain two. If you forget to chain two, your project is slowly going to be smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually it's going to almost look like a V. If you forget to chain two sometimes, and remember to chain two sometimes, your project isn't going to have straight edges, it's going to look really like wobbly. So we chain two, we flip our project, so we're crocheting once again from right to left, yarn over, underneath both loops, yarn over, one, two, three, yarn over, pull it through. Why are there so much random hair in my yarn? Y'all, I have three and a half foot long hair and it gets everywhere, including in my crochet projects. Oops, I only got one loop there. Gotta make sure I have both loops. There we go, both loops. That completes our next row. Once again, we're at the end of the row. Chain one, chain two, flip the project. Yarn over, underneath both of the loops. Yarn over, pull it through, one, two, three. Yarn over and pull it through. And that's how you half double crochet. I hope this is a big enough swatch to really help you understand the basics of half double crochet. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to end your project and how to weave in your tails. Let's open our little crochet kit. Our little yarn scissors. We're gonna cut the tail a few inches long. So maybe like here, more than a few inches. There we go, right there. Finishing off your project from here is so easy. All you do is yarn over one more time to the piece of yarn that you already cut. Yarn over one more time, pull it through that very last loop all the way through, and that creates a knot securing your project. Now that our project is complete, I'm gonna show you how to weave in your ends. I'm gonna show you how to weave in your ends with your crochet hook and with a darning needle. People weave in their ends all different ways. This is just how I weave in my ends. If you have a darning needle, Thread up your needle with your yarn, and we're just gonna sew in and out of this top row. Once I weave it in a few times, I like to cut off that tail. Now you can see that it's successfully woven into the project. If you don't have a darning needle and you just wanna use your crochet hook, all I do is put my crochet hook through these top little loops, pull the yarn through, flip the project, Put the hook through that top loop again, grab the yarn, pull it through the project, and continue. You can see that we are literally doing the same exact thing where we are sewing the tail into that top or bottom row of our crochet project. I personally think it's a lot easier with the darning needle, but so much of the time I do end up just sewing it in with my crochet hook because I don't want to go look for the needle or find the needle. So it's totally fine to weave in your ends however you would like. And that's it, y'all. 
that is how you do a half double crochet for complete beginners. That's it, it really is that easy. Now you know how to half double crochet, which like I said, is my favorite stitch ever. And now that you know how to half double crochet, one of my favorite things to half double crochet are pumpkins. I did a tutorial for these big chunky pumpkins and for these super cute tiny pumpkins. If you had fun here, don't forget to hit all the buttons and officially join the Sunflower family. I'm going to be doing so many more crochet tutorials on this page along with so many other crazy fun things. Comment below if you have a request for what tutorial you want to see next.